or die, you go home if you're so, um, playing a game like this last game uh, that we're playing. So, I and hope it's not, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Coach Priest is about that all the time. I'm uh, just playing relentlessly. Um, and the rest of the guys. Kennedy, is it, is it, I don't know, exciting is the right word, but is it fun to be able to play a team like Arkansas that likes to get up and down the floor that kind of plays your style? I think so. I mean, I think we can get more possessions in. I'm much more we want. Get out on the court a little bit, spread down the floor, and get easy baskets. Uh, whatever we can do um, to, to put the ball to the hoop, then that's what we do tomorrow. Uh, talking with some of the guys, they said that Roy brought up the 52 50 game back in 82 last night. Mm-hmm. You've been around a while now. Is there one story that he's told over the last two years that kind of stands out? Uh, probably a story about toughness, about Phil Ford and his tooth. Um, I, mean, I think Phil Ford got elbow in the mouth. And, um, on the defensive end, and then he ran by coach and dropped his tooth in his hand and kept on playing. So um, I think that's the one I heard the most. Um, it's about us being tough. And, um, every little foul you can't complain about to the ref. Um, let him take care of that. As it gets to a point where you just kind of, at a certain situation in the game, you know a story's coming. I mean, you can expect a story every day. <laughs> uh, this is the type, type of guy he is for I me. Mean, he gives you scenarios just to make you know how, how it is and how he experienced it before. Um, how it's the same thing, uh, being repetitive over and over. So, um, I think that story sticks out the most to everybody. I was like, um, when I talked to you last night, you and everybody else, you guys were very relieved. Yeah. To this. When you woke up this morning, were you still relieved or were you a little bit more excited? I think we're always going to be grateful. Um, appreciative. Um, but we got to put that game behind us now. Um, we got a big time game tomorrow, 840. So um, as a team, we got to go back to the hotel. Um, whether, it's, excuse me, whether it's looking at film, um, whatever we have to do to get prepared for our shots, that's what we'll do. A lot of questions in the room about how you guys played last night, but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because it's behind you. <laughs> yeah. You have a one game season tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it matters. Um, but at the same time, we got to focus. Like I said, like you said, we have to focus on Arkansas. Um, it's a one game thing now. I mean, you lose your out. Uh, so I think everybody that plays tomorrow relentlessly and um, get a full effort. What do you know about Bobby Porter? He's a great player. One of the best players in the country. Um, the leader of his team, one of the best players in the SEC. Um, so you really got to go into the game and be prepared to play for an entire 40 minutes. Is that a matchup you look forward to? Bryce said you were going to be on him. It seems like yeah. he usually gets the best player on the team and that's where you're getting him. Yeah, I mean, I, it's something I look forward to. It's a big time challenge for me, um, especially on the defensive end. Yeah. What's the number one thing you have to do with him? Play defense the entire game. Uh, don't let him get the ball early in the, in the spots that he likes. I mean, I, I know those spots now, so I really got to take advantage of those, get there before him. Um, and like Coach said, um, you play hard. Uh, everything else will take care of itself. I mean, if everyone on this team plays hard the entire 40 minutes, uh, plays together, um, take care of the ball, whatever we have to do, um, I think that's really it. Have they told you 